Welcome to Real Filmmaking, my name's Corey, and today's episode's a little bit different because it's going to be more of a vlog style and I'm going to be walking you all through how I shot and put together my recently released short film here on the channel called Unfinished Business. Now, like most of you, I've been stuck at home for the last couple months, so I wanted to use the time to grow as a filmmaker, so just took what I had available to me and came up with an idea and just said, okay, I'm gonna film this thing. <laughs> Let's make it happen. So this video is just kind of walking through the process as I was filming. Hopefully it can be uh, enjoyable and entertaining and ultimately encouraging to just help you, like if you've got that idea, just like get out there and film it. And by get out there, I mean just stay in your house and film it or film from a safe distance of at least six feet away. <laughs> So, um, I hope you enjoy this, and yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I had to do when I decided I wanted to shoot a short film was come up with an idea. Now I think this is the biggest sticking point for a lot of people when they want to shoot a short film. They're like, I have all these great ideas, these huge things, I need like, you know, a huge crew to pull them off, I need tons of money. and. Just to shoot straight with you, no you don't. You don't need all those things to make a short film. We all have that idea in our head. We wanna make a huge, awesome short film. But honestly, what you need is just a simple story that has a character and a plot and that you can shoot by yourself. So tend to think smaller, scale things back. Definitely think about what you have access to in terms of locations, props, things around your house and see if you can use that to tell a story. In this idea, you know, I wanted to try to make something outside of my comfort zone. I've never shot a noir film before. I think noirs are interesting. So I was like, okay, I'll go with that. And the main thing that I wanted to work on in this short film was actually to experiment with a lot of lighting and to experiment with shooting raw on Magic Lantern. So those were kind of my key things, and I did come up with a story that I think is interesting and it works well, but those were my couple key things that I wanted to do in the short film. And so you gotta make sure, have a simple story, pull it back, and choose one or two things that you really wanna focus on when you make this short film, and that is going to set you up for success. I feel like people talk a lot about like shooting a short film or just like doing a micro film by yourself, but Sometimes it can be really overwhelming and you're like, I don't even know how to start. I don't even know how to go about doing that. Today, I'm going to be showing you the behind the scenes that I'm doing to create this micro film that I'm working on. Um, I'm gonna do one kind of in a neo-noir style. So like kind of a modern take on noir. And so I wanna show you the camera rig, the setup that I'm going to be using, show you how I've staged, uh, where I'm going to be filming, some of the props I'm going to use and hopefully this can be informative and inspiring. All right, so this is the complete setup and what I'm going to be using to make this short film. So I'm gonna be using the Canon 60D, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with if you've been around on this channel. I'm gonna be using the 60D combined with Magic Lantern. I'm going to be shooting raw. I've also got a 50 millimeter on here, Canon 1.8. I've also got a Canon 20 millimeter so I can get some wider shots if I need to. I have got an external monitor that I'm going to mount to the 60D just to help me get focus and just uh, expose shots and stuff like that. Uh, my HDMI cable to micro HDMI to run it into the 60D, battery for it, and tripod that I'll have the 60D mounted on. This is going to be a mostly like locked down short film shoot. Uh, no crazy motions going on in here when it's just me shooting. And for the most part, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna be using natural light that I have around my house, so no lights with me. So since I'm making this short film in the style of like a neo-noir short film, I'm going to have voiceover provide the audio for most of this. And if there's anything I need, um, like for sound effects and stuff, I will add that in post. So. Right now, I don't really need to get scratch audio for anything, hence I don't have a shotgun mic or like a lavalier or anything to gather audio because I really won't need it. If I want audio, uh, like just natural audio, I'm gonna put some in from different sound effects, 
or a lot of the audio, like I said, will be added in post. All right, so that is the gear setup I'm going to be using for this short film. And so now I wanna take you over here and show you what I've got staged for the actual set, you know, like where I will be filming this. So since this is a noir short film and it's mostly gonna kinda of happen at a desk and close-ups and stuff, I haven't created an extravagant set. Um, so as you can see, this desk here is where most of the filming is going to happen. Well, at least like the first part of the scene. You can see I just kind of set dressed it. Here, I'll get up close. Set dressed it with some, some beer bottles, some filing stuff. I have specific stuff pulled up on the computer, put like a little poster there. And that's the majority of what you will see on film. Because like I said, most of this is going to be close-ups facial stuff. You're not really going to be seeing the environment. I'm going to be using lighting and shadows, hopefully to my advantage. <laughs> I'm going to be using the practical here. So it's like you see it in scene, like this lamp here. I'm going to be using that. And then I've also got, um, let's see if I can get it. I've also got this can light that I've done some videos about before. I'm going to hang it from above me and have it shining down. And because I'm doing a noir style film, I can get some of that harsh lighting behind me and it can look really uh, fitting for this genre. <laughs> In other styles, I'd want to diffuse it. I'd want to uh, get it softer so it's not just like super harsh on my skin, but this i think it can work pretty nicely so yeah that's the majority of what the set looks like you'll see later i'll get outside and there'll be a segment that i film outside but again i'm just going to be using what i have available to me and the main thing that i have available to me is my house my yard uh, space outside so we'll just make it work Again, a big thing when you're doing these micro films, these short films is creativity. It's like writing to what you have. You know, you can have an idea, but think through like, where do you have locations? Is there a skill for this short film that you really wanna work on? Is it like storytelling? Is it aesthetics, lighting? Choose one of those things and focus in on it. Everything doesn't have to be perfect in this short film, but as long as you have some thing that you really want to keep the key focal point of the short film, it is worth shooting a short film to practice and hone that skill. And the more of these you do, the better you're going to get at them and the better the end result will be. So without further ado, let's get to filming this thing. <laughs> All right, I've got the set mostly ready to go. I think it's dressed like how I want it to be. I'm dressed. Um, gonna set up my 60D, get the shot ready, and I think we're ready to go with filming. So I just finished up all of the scenes in here in kind of like the private eyes office and now I'm going to go and film the next sequence of this short film which I'm going to go and get some driving shots in my car and then get a couple shots in my backyard. So to do this and I'm going to have the 60D, I think I'm going to use a Gorillapod and try to set it up at like a cool low angle. Uh, kind of on like the passenger side and shoot it up at me. I'm gonna use my wide angle lens so that way I don't have to mess with focus a ton. Bump up the ISO um, and I think that will give me a couple usable shots just to kind of capture the driving around. Uh, I'll just use the ambient light. There's a couple street lights close to me so I can get some of that. Um, I might bring an extra like little LED light with me just to throw in the car someplace just to give us a little bit more light in the scene. But yeah, that's kind of the plan, so we will see how it goes. Right, I got the got the ISO cranked on this one, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, we are rolling. I'm gonna 
Try to get a couple shots in here. This is insane. I mean, this is, this is filmmaking. All right, so after my wild ride in the car to get a couple of those shots, I filmed some stuff out in the back, um, just kind of out by my backyard. Got a few pickup shots of me sitting outside. I used um, cell phone flashlight and like a mini LED light I had just to get enough light so I could expose the shot. Like there was a couple of like close-ups of me. There was me looking through um, some stuff on the ground. And then there was one final shot of me like sitting. And so I got those shots and now I'm back here in the set. Um, gonna film the last couple shots to wrap this thing up. So just <laughs> reset the whole set back up again we're gonna get this and we're gonna call this a wrap all right well i think that is a wrap on this short film hopefully i got everything i needed you know fortunately if i didn't i can just reshoot it but yeah i think we got something so i'm excited to put it all together and see how it goes uh for this video I'll give you some more of my thoughts, kind of like post-production, kind of how I put the story together. But yeah, thanks for joining me on this vlog scene, just kind of how I do some behind the scenes stuff of the short film. Okay, so you're seeing this vlog in real time. So it's like one thing after another, but this part of the process is honestly like weeks later. It might be a month later from when I actually shot this, but now I am here doing voiceover work for the short film. So basically what I'm doing is I am in my editing program, which I'm using Premiere to edit, and I've got my microphone here, and I'm sitting here timing out different sections and recording the script for those sections. So because this is a noir film and most noirs tend to be uh, narrated, they have the voiceover, I'm sitting here getting that and timing it out exactly how I want it. So I've been here for about an hour doing this and I'm close to a point that I would be happy with the final result. So yeah, this is the last piece of the puzzle <laughs> and once we get this done, I feel like we can call this a wrap. I feel like from a, um, from a filming perspective, like the film is almost at a lock. Like I don't think there's anything uh, shot wise that I want to change or cut, but um, it's just making sure I get those audio takes and getting the background sound effects and the music all exactly how I want it. So hopefully this vlog has been entertaining, but also informative to show you the process, like the behind the scenes of making a short film. Overall, this process should be similar whenever you go to make a short film. You know, you're going to have the the planning, the initial idea, the storyboarding, whatever, then actually shooting it, going onto the field shooting it, and then all the post-production that you have to do to make sure everything comes together in the right way. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear if you have done like these kind of short film projects, like what's the process that you use to do it? So leave me some comments down below. I'll take a look at them. I'd love to hear how people approach short films and their different creative processes. And until next time, keep making movies and watching movies, and I'll see you on Real Filmmaking.